You know, I think we had a great week of practice, and you're right. You know, it, it does help to have that momentum going going into it. Um, so hopefully, hopefully we take care of business and get better. How did you see to see Eric Gilbert get that touchdown out cool. there? Cool. And what about Blaylock as well? It was nice yeah, to see him I mean, out there as well. You know, uh, some of the best ball skills we've got on the team, uh, and just a just a player, just a, just a dude, and uh, knows how to get open, knows how to catch the ball, knows what we're trying to do, uh, blocks his butt off. And, yeah, I think I think we, um, you know, when I say fun, that doesn't mean, you know, not hard work. Uh, and I think we we did that this week in practice. We had a great week of practice: Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, all the way through. Um, and it's because we we just were like, hey, it, this is football, right? When we score touchdowns, when we do good plays, it's fun, it's exciting. That's why we got started in this whenever we're little kids, so let's just bring that back. What was the key to the red zone efficiency in the first half? Uh, running the ball. Uh, you know, it, it's hard to be successful in, in, the, in the red zone and not be able to run the ball. Um, and, I, and I think our guys, you know, uh, did a really good job of that, and we converted third downs uh, and threw it when we had to. What helped you get into an early rhythm? Sorry? What helps you get into an early rhythm? I think it's what helped me today, or what helps no, what helped you today? Yes. Okay, uh, I was warmed up good, you know, again, good week of practice, uh, throwing with the guys, uh, confident in the game plan, uh, and we're just we're just ready to roll. Do you think it was just about your execution today? You guys able to feel like you kind of execute the way you wanted to? Yeah, again, I, I think it goes down. It's it's a uh, it's a product of our uh, week of practice and you know, and then executing it on game, right? Because it doesn't matter how good uh, your week of practice is. Executed not into a game day, and I think we carried that over. What did you think the key was for more balanced attack? It felt like you guys were able to air it out and also get the ground game going as well. Uh, yeah, I mean uh, that's Monk. Um, you know, who's working. I think uh, O line, wideouts, uh, tight ends, everybody backs. We're all just ready to go with what was working, and uh, you know, I don't know what it all balanced up to. But I think we could how dynamic is a guy like Dylan Bell in your offense, especially coming in as a freshman, had that one touchdown call back, call one in the second half? Uh, you know, how do you feel about him taking a bigger role? Yeah, well, I mean, I hope so. You know, I love I love good football players playing, playing for us. It's my favorite thing in the world. Um, and he, I mean, he's not, he doesn't talk that much. He gets in, he comes in, does his job. Um, he's learning, you know, the speed of the game from, from, from high school to uh, college now. He's doing a good job. What do you say to you guys post game? Uh, good job. Um, he was proud of us. Uh, you know, he's proud of how the way after the starters went out, offense and defense, we kept the shutout and we scored more points. Yeah. Offense, right. And so th I think that's that's impressive. Uh, shows that they were locked in on the sideline and that they're ready to play. Career high day. Time. Sorry, career high day from Darnell today. Sometimes you just you feel so comfortable throwing the ball up there because he's just so big and so effortlessly come down with passes. Yeah, uh, yeah. He usually comes down with him. Yeah, he's, I mean, it's like throwing to the Pacific Ocean, you know. Uh, <laughs> you mentioned after starters went out, the rest of the guys really kind of kept that momentum going. What did you see from Carson today? Yeah, I mean, Carson's what is this third year here. Um, he's really good for me. Uh, and I, he keeps getting better, keeps learning it. Um, you know, I think sometimes when, when you guys ask me, you know, how are you? Tutoring the young guys, and you guys include him in there. I'm like, well, he's not a young guy. You know, he's he's been in this offense the same amount of time I have. He knows it just as well as I do. He, he's, you know, comes in and works. He's good for nice Ten plays, play. eleven plays, a lot of a lot of very long and a lot of time of possession. Deliberate yeah. or is that just well? They were out? they were they were playing really deep with their safeties. They got back uh, in with their soft with their corners, and you know, it, when when that happens, it's hard to hit shot plays, but it's easier to hit those. You know, get first down, get six, get seven, get 15, right? Move it down the field. Um, and if they're going to make you do it, then you got to do it. You guys are into a bayou. The team has played in a couple different types of ways. Got some big ones and small ones. Played kind of in between. What are maybe some of the lessons you guys have learned so far this year as you guys head into a bayou? That it's tough and that we are not King Kong standing on top of the Empire State though, right? We got to work and we got to execute each week and go out there and expect a dogfight uh, until it's not one, right? We, we can't. Not expect that it's going to be, and then all of a sudden find ourselves.